This is asked in your gate 1999. It is a subjective question. Okay, it is a subjective question. They are saying that consider the following algorithm. You consider this algorithm. Assume procedure A and procedure B takes big of 1 and big of 1 by n unit of time respectively. It's said here respectively. Means A is going to take your constant time big of 1 and B is going to take 1 by n. 1 by n. Okay, B is taking 1 by n. Deriving they derive the time complexity of the algorithm in BIGO of in BIGO notation. Derive the time complexity of the algorithm in BIGO notation. So this is means algorithm. This is the algorithm that is what n. It is taking the size n. It is taking the size. N. Let's assume that what this function what is having the time complexity as t of n. When the size of this function is n, then it is t of n. Now, if n is equal equal to 1, when n is 1, then it is calling a and a is taking your constant time that is big of 1. Okay, big of 1. Now, else begin what n minus 1, what is going to else case it is calling so it is going to be t of n minus 1. When it is n, then it's taking t of n. When it is n minus 1, then it will take t n minus 1. Then after that function call, it is calling the bn. bn is taking time as 1 by n. So you can say it is going to be 1 by n. Understood? So now I need to write in a equation. In a equation. So how to write? So t of n is going to your a constant time when n is equal equal to 1. When n is equal to 1 then this otherwise it is going to take t of n minus 1 plus 1 by 1 by n when n is greater than 1 when n is greater than 1 or not equal to 1 and for this and for this else check it is going to take one constant time that plus plus 1 you need to write constant time also for this you can say plus c or plus when n is not equal to 1 like this because the else case is this if n is equal to 1, then only it is going to do. Okay. When n is not equal to 1, when n is not equal to 1, then this is going to be the time. Now, since here, since b of 1 by n, b of 1 by n is replaced with b of 1 by n, b of 1 by n is replaced, b of 1 by n is replaced. with 1 by n with 1 by n and so our answer so our answer is going to be in bigo because i am replacing bigo of 1 by n as only 1 by n as only 1 by n okay as only 1 by n okay so our answer will also be in big o. Okay. Now solve this and tell me what is going to be your answer. Now solve this. After solving, so you have to solve this equation that t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 or c you can consider. Imam is saying big of 1. See big of 1 for a. A is taking the constant time. A is taking the constant. A is taking the constant. See and if you ask here why plus 1 I am doing. Why plus 1 I am doing. Because this comparison if condition then else condition so this then begin then in this is going to take some constant time. This is going to take some constant time. Okay. Is it clear Imam? Like else part you are doing. Okay else is going to get some time is it clear Ima? this i get sir big of one is it no no big of one is not true big of one is not going to be if you solve this you are going to get something else now see how to solve so whenever the size is n it is reducing into one t of n minus one and doing one by n plus one so when its size is n minus 1, it will reduce again by 1, n minus 2. Then it is going to be 1 by n minus 1 
then plus one then this is remaining one by n okay so it is going to your if you write so it is going to your t of n minus 2 t of n minus 2 plus 1 by n minus n minus 1 n minus 1 plus 1 by n 1 by 1 by n plus 2 plus 2 now again you will substitute t of n minus 2 so it is going to be t of n minus it will get reduced by 1 n minus 3 then 1 plus n minus 2 plus 1 okay plus 1 so here i will add plus 1 so plus 1 is going to be 3 plus 1 is going to be 3 here so plus 1 is going to be 3 here so it will be 1 by n minus 1 plus 1 by n plus 3 like this again if you will break this it will be t of n minus 4 then 1 by n minus 3 then plus 1 plus 1 i will add it. 1 by n minus 2 plus 1 by n minus 1 1 by n plus 1 that is going to be 2 now see if it is if it is having 4 here then here also you are having 4 here reduced 1 1 reduced 1 reduced 1 3 then 3 then 2 then 1 zero. 2 then 2 then 1 zero. like this so like this if it is if it will be t of n minus k then it will be 1 by n minus k minus 1 1 by n minus k minus 2 like this it will go till 1 by n plus k of 1 k of k one. understood now now we need to make n minus k as 1. How we can make let n minus k equal to 1 then k is going to your which value of n minus 1. So minus here plus k will be in right side. So k is going to be n minus 1 then it is going to your 1. So it is going to be a t of n minus n minus 1 then 1 by 1 by n minus n minus minus 1 minus 2 then n minus n minus minus 3 because it's 2 okay minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 is 3 like this it will go till 1 by 1 by n 1 by n and in place of k it is going to be n minus 1 into 1. so here you are going to get 1 t of 1 so this n and get cancel it will be 2 because minus minus plus 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 till 1 by n and here you are going to get n minus so it is going to be 1 only so here only you can write as 1 is 1 so 1 by 1 you can say now 1 by 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 5 so it is a harmonic okay harmonic series and that is going to this sum is going to your log n this is going to be log n okay this till this it is going to your log n plus n minus 1 so you can assume the time complexity as n plus log n understood